Yeah. Who you with? Who you with? Back at it, man. It's one of those days in Media Campus West. Got my dog in the building. The man that has, has got people in my household asking questions. So we got to get to the bottom of a few things. Curly Hair Bobby's in the building. One of the coolest dudes I know, man. What's up, homie? What's good, man? It's good to see you again. Good to see you again. For sure. The king of Snapchat and now the king of merch. We're going to talk about all of that, man. Uh, Bobby, for those that don't know, they don't may not understand like how or who you are. Yeah. It's like seven people now. Because you got like 50,000 million followers. It's like seven people. Tell me how the whole curly hair Bobby thing came to play. Like where it got started. And then we got to kind of talk about now these moves you got going with your merch and all that type of stuff. For sure. For sure. Yeah. Where it got started is actually super crazy. So like high school, I was never into the social media. Never really. <laughs> like it's crazy. I, I could go back right now to my senior year in high school. I'm maybe like a thousand followers on Instagram, like starting off. So it was uh -huh. never just, social media was never my thing at all. I was right. just a worker. All I mm -hmm. did was work. So um, I had a friend, uh, a dude that was in my circle, and mm -hmm. he, he got on TikTok and was like, bro, I just made $100 on live. He was mm -hmm. on live for like two, three hours. Yeah. While he's doing that, I'm slaving at Old Navy, <laughs> getting hundred dollar paychecks a week. So right. I'm like, bro, I just made a hundred bucks in two hours. I'm getting a hundred dollars a week. Let right. Figure it out. Right. And I'm like, so what are you doing on there? Like, what, what's really happening? Mm -hmm. He's like, nothing. It's just a whole bunch of girls that send me money for looking good. I'm that's like, crazy. I so. look better than you. Like, <laughs> I know I'm gonna make more money. So that's it's, it's it's crazy, but that's really where it started. So like mm -hmm. every morning I'm waking up. 7 a.m. getting ready for school and before mm -hmm. i'm before i'm going to school every morning i'm posting like 10 15 videos so right ever since then it just took off took off I, uh there was another another kid on social media his name was curly hair Jaden. he uh -huh. was he was way bigger had already been doing this and i'm like well if i take the curly hair part of the name <laughs> and just put bobby at the end they're right. already looking for him so uh -huh. they might find me on accident and just right and it's it's crazy. That's that's really how it went. It's and crazy. then from there, you just went off. From there, it was a snowball effect, and oh boy, I love it. It's crazy. I love it. Bobby's a, a, a social media gigolo. That's all I hey, heard, bro. I mean, you gotta get in where you fit in. Somebody <laughs> has to do it. Somebody I mean, gotta do it. Might as well be you. So me. that's what's up, man. It's that snowball. Um, at what point? Because I know now, like when you post, you posting a lot with you, you and your, your old lady with your girl, right? Did you ever think like, oh, this might be counterproductive to my brand? Like, you, you, I see that it hasn't hurt it at all. But. I mean, so in the past, it because I've, I've like posted with other right, right, right. and things before, and it was crazy because it, it you obviously get the hate and you get the people that don't follow. You get the ones that right. was only with you because they thought they had a chance. Chance, right? Um, but I come to find out a lot of people love to see couples and love yeah. to see people together and honestly Dope. engagement could be far better than what it was before it could be far worse it's really just a mm -hmm. a juggle and, and mix and match with, with what you have and just figuring it out but right. yeah no i'm not gonna let social media hold me back <laughs> wife in real life i love can't it do i that. love it i so love it just, just went with the flow and this has been great it's working i'm yeah. loving it couldn't be happier i love it man and it, i think you come across as extremely genuine and i think that that's what makes the brand work you know what i'm saying people see you they get get a, a feel of who you are sure. and they ain't just some conceited dude posting pictures of himself you like a real person you know what i'm saying yeah. I, and it's real dope yeah and that's really what i what i shot for um when I started social media and mm -hmm. continue to create, it's like, I don't want to put on a facade. I don't mm -hmm. want to have to act too hard out of right. my character to, to please anybody. So if it works, it works. If works. it doesn't, you know, it's, I'll figure something else out. But nah, it's just have to be you. you right. have to be you. It's going to be too hard trying yeah. to keep up with something that you're not. It's I love that. Work. I'm too lazy. Ah, lazy. lazy. That's lazy. real. We're going to talk about the merch in a second. We're going to talk about you being the, the I would say, the unofficial god of Snapchat. <laughs> uh, but Because everybody just can't say the CEO of Snapchat hits them up. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like yeah. Uh, Bobby, what's up? Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't have that privilege. You do. Okay, but okay, but okay. I also want to talk about something that sent my household into shambles. Oh, like, oh. I got I'm teenagers. Intrigued. I haven't heard, I haven't heard, you this, haven't heard this. I've been, been waiting. Okay. I hit Josh up. I, I got to talk to Bobby. We got to figure this out. Sure. My daughters wanted to know, did you cut your hair? They was like, you know him, call him. And I was like, I'm not going to call him and ask. I'm a grown man. I'm not going to ask that man that. But I'm waiting for him to come do an interview. Then I'm going to ask him, Bobby, what made <laughs> you cut your hair, bro? And then because you had my household 
up in shambles. shambles. Yeah, oh, they was yeah. like, did Bobby cut his hair? It's we don't gone. know. It's gone. And it's so crazy <laughs> because it, it was gone for a, uh, for a minute. Mm-hmm. And people just slowly and slowly started to realize because for a while I was just tying it back. Mm-hmm. Um, or I'd do little things that just made it look different than when it used to. Right. So when I actually cut it, I think it took like two weeks for people to catch up. I'm like, <laughs> it's been gone. Like, there's, there's no length. Like, right. it's, it's, it's gone. But really what it was... Um, was just a new year. Mm, uh, I, I went on a, a New Year's cruise to the the islands and yeah. just and just was like, this is a time to restart. This is a perfect time to restart. I've been saying I want to do it for the longest. My yeah. hair was dead. I was at a point where I was dying it every month, like mm. just for the fun of it. So, got you. I definitely uh, it was it wasn't really hard to cut it. I didn't right. do it on camera. I didn't really care about what everybody was. I just cut it That's because what's up. I was like, it's just too much weight. Mm. It's time to restart, and it's it's gonna come back. It's yeah, it's coming. So it grows back. For me, it was for you. Like for me, really not so much. <laughs> but I understand. It's no problem. I see it. It's coming in. It's, 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 it's coming, coming in. in. <laughs> right here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but for me, it wasn't anything major. It wasn't anything big. So I just. That's what's up. It. And it was it was that really. That's dope, that. man. That's dope. Now tell me about Snapchat, bro. Cause I I, I oh, was man. on there every time I go on there, you on there. You know what I'm saying? So tell me about how it is to work in Snapchat and just just your approach to it. Yeah, so no, it's actually been a roller coaster journey journey with Snapchat. Um mm-hmm. I was on it for a while, built a nice little presence, mm-hmm. uh built that presence and got in contact with somebody that Helped me get verified on there. Once you get verified, the numbers just become astronomical. Like gotcha. They're incomparable to anything, any other platform I've been on. And when you talk about that, you're talking about the reach as well as mm-hmm. the monetization oh, and opportunities. Like 110%. Wow. Across okay. the board, by far, any platform that I was, like, really in. So, yeah. I loved it. It was great. I was on a, I was on a crazy run for about a year, mm-hmm. i say. Um, really just figuring it out, dippling and dabbling. And then for a good, say, month and a half. Mm-hmm. There wasn't a day that I wouldn't make like a thousand dollars. That's crazy. Let me hit the hype bell for it that. Was, Snapchat it was, money is different. Bro, it was actually it was absolutely insane. Mm-hmm. Um, it was extremely lucrative. It wasn't. I wasn't wasn't doing the right thing. Let's say that <laughs> I wasn't I doing the right thing. I was young. It happens. Young. It happens. It happens. So yeah. So that's why I said it was a roller coaster because after that month, it, it was a great financial month. But mm-hmm. before I even knew it, it was all cut off. Wow. Instantly, like. No wow. warning, anything. It was all gone. I lost my verification due to the, the oh, nature, the, the of, the nature of the content. Yep. I got you. I so got you. So for a year, uh, uh, a whole year, I probably didn't touch the app. So let's talk about that because some people need to hear that. 100%. Like some people jump 100%. off the ledge to get things popping, not realizing it could hurt you in the long run. 110%. So what it's, would you tell curly hair Bobby that the, the, the day before that month started? What before, would you tell him? Just continue doing your original content. You 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 gonna figure it out somewhere else. Just mm-hmm. don't. If it's too good to be true, it's, it's it too is. good to be true for sure. For That's sure. big, big facts. Up. Big facts. I but like thankfully, that. a year later, mm-hmm. I got back in good means um, with the Snapchat team. Talked to him, went out to dinner, all type of things, and really just built that built that connection back yeah. and got my start back. Got go. my verification back, and ever since then, it's just been a a, a legit push, an honest push. Mm-hmm. And what's so crazy is that now they offer um, ads within your story. That's crazy. So I have no need to do the the mm-hmm. things I was doing a year ago to yeah. to make the money from the platform because now they're giving me the same, yeah. if not better, money if right. I just put in the the honest and correct work. It's crazy. Several humble flexes. We're gonna re- rewind a little uh, bit. No, this man <laughs> said I went out to dinner with the Snapchat crew. Okay, nobody does that. <laughs> All we right. Went to the trap museum. <laughs> it, was, it was great. They're, they're normal people. They're, they're, right, right, they're right. Awesome people. Um, it's just about relations, like knowing you. Mm-hmm. I, there's no telling. It's, it's just mm-hmm. figuring out who you know and how you can maneuver right. through those. But no, it was it was great talking with them and great meeting with them. Great getting back mm-hmm. in in good paces because mm-hmm. Snapchat is crazy. That's crazy. It's, it's, I got to get back crazy. on Snapchat. I got to put the app oh, back sure. on. I got to get back I'll, on Snapchat. I'll show you. Be- you yeah, heard it. Yeah. You're going to see I nothing but chicken videos on Snapchat for the next 24 the months. Chickens, Get ready. Chickens. I've been seeing those. That's the My God. It's crazy. My God. Young Fly Humble right here. Bobby, tell me about the merch. Because the, the day we met, you came out to our sneaker ball for Paz America Youth, right? You fly. You fresh. You and your, your girl. Y'all was show stopped the whole situation on the red carpet. You know what I'm saying? Josh thought he was flyer than us. He wasn't. We could talk about that later. Bobby pulls up, he's fresh. Then I find out he's got the mischief brand. He's got the merch. He's got this situation. Tell me about that, how that came to play. 
Yeah, for, for sure. So yeah, sneaker ball. First off, got a huge shout out to Josh. He hooked us, he hooked <laughs> right, us up right. with the gear. I, know, I had I never know. had a suit. I'm I like, heard about the, the, the Armani yeah. suit. Was it Armani it, or something? Uh, it was. It was. Armani. Our, he said he's like, yeah. See, he Josh I didn't in the back. No, I, right. I was super fly. I didn't even know. Yeah, right. Shout out to him. But yeah, my brand. Um, I say the biggest thing behind that was really, I was I was making so much money for other people for mm. I say a solid two three years yeah. and. It got to a point where I was talking with a dude. I had made him. He's like, I, I posted a promo on Snap for him. I woke mm -hmm. up. It has like 1.2 million views. Crazy. On his specific promotion, right? right? He probably paid me three, five hundred bucks, whatever it was. Right. This dude woke up to twenty thousand dollars. Yeah, he's got to tip you. Oh, he was he was cool. It Shout was, out to him. Let me hear the hype bell for that. He was very <laughs> very transparent, and I'm like, right. wow, I really just generated twenty bands in a day. Right. Right. How can I do that for me? For you, right? Um, making all this money for all these other brands, I'm like, let me just start my own. Let me just figure out how I could do this and keep everything in house and in pocket. I love that, man. I love that. So you start your brand, and not yeah. only did you just start it, you really doing it. Like the yeah. the gear is dope. You do these these drops, man. It's real tough. I love that, man. What um kind of gave you that fashion sense and and all of that? Where did that come from? Um, honestly, my mom is is just a, a super creator. My cousin right here, he's been buying custom pieces for my mom for God knows how long. So right. I've always just grew up in a real creative household. Mm -hmm. um, just really figure it out type mm -hmm. of household. And that led me to just right. dipple and dabble in a few other things. And then on, I seen a ton of people online just really, really blowing up off the clothes. Right, like doing right. $150,000 a month with right. little to no paid promotions, mm -hmm. little to no followers. So I'm like, I could do this 110%. Right. right. Um, me, I just outsourced everything as mm -hmm. far as designing, as far as site. Uh, I built my site, but little things like that. All the hard work is so crazy because you can find it for so cheap. Yeah, but you got a team. Together, you got yeah. a team. We're just going to put it like that. Bobby has a <laughs> team. team. No, no, no. He's no, got no. a team. Cre I created a team. Right. Out of nothing, though. Yeah. It's really, I mean, I definitely have the people around me that help a lot. But mm -hmm. as far as, like, starting that business, it was, it was really mm -hmm. way easier than I believe. That's what's up, man. So those out there that want to start your merch business, you heard it from the man himself. It's lucrative. He's getting busy. Tap in. I'm, I'm, I'm help you. Yeah, he's going to help you out. For sure. well, small fee. It's all good. <laughs> nah. It's tiny. It's tiny. <laughs> in perspective of what you're right. going to do. What right. So do. that's what's up, man. Shout out to Bobby. Man, I appreciate you pulling up for on sure, me, bro. For, for sure. sure, man. Make sure that y'all catch Bobby for all seven people that aren't following him on the social media platforms tell them where to get you at bro at curly hair bobby on instagram bobby after hours on snap and tiktok all right that's probably how you got in trouble bobby after hours hey, it's all wait, good no, 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 i'm just kidding it, i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> i'm just kidding hey man we're gonna get back to this music we appreciate y'all pulling up man shout out to you shout out to funny man galen that pulled up on us today and the homie choke no joke three incredible interviews make sure that you guys rewind back and check those things out we're gonna get back to this music and we got some more good stuff on the way right here with reese radio from media campus west we gone Who's with Reese? Hey, yeah. who you with? Wendy Williams is in here. Crazy, crazy. How you doing? <laughs> you know who it is? The top five dead or alive. D Block General J the Kiss. Yeah, right now I'm with my cousin Big Reese, baby. <laughs> Check it out, y'all. What it look like? It's your main man, Fabulous Man. I'm holding it down with Reese. <laughs> my brother Reese. Reese Meese. The homie Reese. You already know, man. It's Taylor Ganga. Die. Who you with? Reese.